Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Forgotten Weapons. I'm Ian, as usual, and uh, we're here with Eric, who has a Singapore SAR-21, which is a really slick little rifle we don't see much of in this country. And yeah, the rifle itself is pretty neat. It's, uh, if people just think it's an AR-18 or an AUG uh, knockoff, but it really isn't. Instead of a multi-lug rotating bolt, it actually has a two-lug rotating bolt with a long dwell time. Um, let me go through this thing. I'll show you what it looks like inside and out. Fantastic. Uh, fully ambidextrous with a charging handle, left and right, like a G36. Uh, ejection port's on the right-hand side, so it's not much of a... Uh, uh, lefty model. Um, this is the selector for um, full and uh, semi. This selector is just strictly for fire uh, and safe. And uh, the takedown on this rifle, this is for the, the trigger group manual. There you go. Trigger group. Uh, if you look at the trigger group inside, it's a heavily modified AR-15 type trigger group, but it's actually very unique in a way. And then, the disassembly for the stock itself slides off the back, kind of like an AUG, AEG. But if you look inside, the construction, the inside is all sheet metal, and uh, it's not plastic like, uh, or the nylon, uh, nylon like an AUG. It actually is a, uh, a uh, sheet metal cage with polymer wrap around it, so it's very strong. Plus, the trigger group assembly actually has uh, is all sheet metal linkage as well. Now, of course, it has the floating ejector like a stoner or a Daewoo rifle. Mm -hmm. So you have that. The other neat thing too. So here's the piston group. I'll show you something on this in a second. But the the, the tube cycles, uh, or the piston cycles in this tube. But the tube is also the charging handle. So the gas tube is the charging handle. And I like this too, if you want to clean off, uh, uh, clean the, um, the gas system, you rotate that around. Oh, slick. It just so, opens right up so you can get in there and clean it. Exactly. So what you have is an adjustable gas system with different ports. So, but uh, it's a plug, literally it's a tapered plug, like a cork even though it's chrome line and everything, drops down, rotates, locks. So you can get in there and clean out the bore if you need to. Uh, but once again, the gas tube is also the charging handle, all in one assembly. And the piston itself, I'll put this down here for a second. The piston has some neat little things too. A little trap door for the firing pin. And of course that releases the cam pin, which in turn releases the bolt assembly. If you look at that long rotational helix cut, a lot of dwell time, especially with a two lug system, it brings the rate of fire down. It's not even close to an AR-15. It's more of like a, like I said, it sounds like a, a grease gun. It's a low, really slow rate of fire. It sounds like about 500. Hmm. All right, so we're out at the range now with the Singapore. SAR-21. We're going to give it a try, a little bit of semi-auto, a little bit of full-auto, and uh, see how it shoots. This does use its own proprietary mag. This has a very, very light recoil impulse. The long travel of the bolt and carrier really helps to slow down the recoil and to prevent the muzzle from rising. This is an extremely comfortable gun in semi-auto. Let's try it out in full auto and see how it feels then. It's just as good in full auto as it is in semi. You can hear the slow rate of fire, probably 500, maybe 550 rounds per minute, which is quite a bit slower than most other contemporary 223 rifles. Again, that's because of the long unlocking and, uh, and travel time inside with the, the bolt system. It slows down the rate of fire and makes the gun extremely controllable.
the trigger's not outstanding. It's kind of like most built-up triggers, long and a little bit soft. But the optics are great, and the, uh, just the, the feel of the gun and the shooting ability is outstanding. I have to say, really, this SAR-21 is one of the slickest 223 black rifles I've ever fired. With all of the features that are built into its design, the easy cleaning, the long travel time, the built-in laser, which I don't know if we showed you, but there's a built-in laser in the forearm, the integrated optic. You know, I normally don't find myself all that excited by the modern plastic rifles, but this one's really a treat. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it.